I'm sitting here enjoying baklava from the bakery. I hope you all are doing well. I'm happy to be here. I want to give you guys a quick rundown of my hair routine and what I'm doing to grow my hair. Honestly, the flaky cross, oh, the best. Okay. So, I literally just finished cutting my hair. I'm, it's a mess. You don't like it? Don't eat it. It's not my favorite either. Taste the other one. Look at this one. Um, I'm just going to eat one little piece so I can have some with my tea. Oh my gosh. Mm. You want the water? Um, leave it there. I just needed a quick sugar high before I got started. Today has been a long day, but I wanted to do this video for you guys. So, in September 2023, I cut my, I got my hair cut into a short bob length, a chin length hair. Um, I didn't want to cut my hair all off and start all over, but I want my hair to be all one length. So the bob cut gave me the ability to start somewhere. My trouble area is my crown. That's where I experience the most breakage. But ideally, I want it to be just as heavy and full as it is on the bottom. So we're not growing down until the top reaches the length of the bottom. Every two weeks, I do my wash routine, shampoo, deep condition, blow dry, flat iron, faithfully. I'll be sharing with you the products that I use, that I alternate between um, every two weeks. Ever since that cut, I've been doing my own trims. I'm not like an expert when it comes to cutting my own hair. So I've just been like dusting the top more than anything, but the bottom, I just keep it cut just to, as even as you see it. I just want it, you know, off my shoulders. But every two weeks when I cut my hair, my hair is grown. Like it grows really fast. In two weeks when I wash my hair again, I'm going to show you. I guarantee you it's a good half inch or maybe more. But it literally grows so fast now that I'm trimming it. Taking just a regular one-a-day vitamin, like I don't do any, like you, you guys might remember I used to do the sea kelp and biotin, not doing any of those supplements. However, my um, one-a-day actually has biotin. Other than that, I'm not taking any supplements for my hair. But let's go ahead and jump into the products that I use. Okay, so I usually use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree shampoo to kind of like clarify my hair. The first and second wash. And then I'll go in with this to keep dandruff at bay. I alternate between two systems. This Nexus Carafix is my protein system, the shampoo and the conditioner. And then two weeks later, I will use this Joico Moisture Recovery System. As far as leave-in, I use Ottawa Beauty. Really, really enjoy this stuff. One of my favorite, favorite leave-ins. This is the only one I've been using for the past year, actually. And I don't need a lot. I try not to weigh my hair down. My hair is fine. So um, too much product, will <laughs> my hair will be stiff. It will not move like this. Really, 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 really like this. This is the Claro Beautiful Collection Advanced Gray Solution in, in the color 1A Midnight Black. This lasts really long. I generally have to do this every six weeks. And lastly, for my heat protectant, I use this Chi Iron Guard. Works like a charm. I've been using it for years. So I haven't had any heat damage. Some of you might consider me heat trained, but I don't know if I lean in that category because most of the people that I see who are heat trained, generally their hair is straight even when it's natural. But maybe 
I might be some form of heat trained. I would consider myself a straight natural at this point. Again, I uh, flat iron my hair every two weeks. At one time, I thought that was too much. As you see in the last video, I was literally going to the stylist every three months because I didn't want to experience heat damage. However, in doing it safely myself, and again, using this, my hair still has texture. It might have some straight pieces here and there because I might slip up and maybe not use enough heat protectant or go over a section a little more than I should. But other than that, I still have my texture. I can still wear twist outs and wear my hair kinky and it still curls, it still curls up. It's not as tight as it would be if I wasn't straightening it, but I still have a lot of texture in my hair. So that's also one of the reasons why I have continued to flat on every two weeks because I'm not seeing any negative effects from doing that. I flat iron my hair on 390. If I go over it again, just to give it a bump, I'll go down to 350. But my first flat iron, I just do one pass on 390 all over my head. But the beauty in this uh, more, more recent journey is that my hair grows pretty fast and it's not as thin as I thought it was. And I realized that it was only thin because I had a lot of flyaways, a lot of short breakage in the roots which affected my overall density. One of the major reasons I'm wearing it straight is to prevent tangles, knots, and those single strand knots on the ends and just to help my hair become more manageable so that I'm not breaking it. The more manageable, the more, <laughs> the more manageable it is, the less breakage I experience. So it's been working for me so far. I truly believe that in sticking to your regimen, you will have the greatest success. If you have any questions or comments on anything you would like me to address that I may not have touched on in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I am going to continue to enjoy my baklava and I will talk to you guys very soon. But you can see like all, all the breakage. But it moved, it moved though. <laughs> The flat iron I use is, the words have come off, but I believe it's titanium, got it from Sally's, Babyliss, Babyliss, Babyliss <laughs> Nano, um, I want to say this is in the one inch, don't quote me, but yeah, it's a titanium, titanium iron. And the blow dryer I use is this Silver Silver Bird by Conair Pro. If you're a hair girl, you know this is a really good, high quality, salon quality um, blow dryer. My gosh. I can't talk. Okay, so. And then this is the nozzle. I use the concentrator nozzle. <laughs> I don't know where to look. My camera's here, I see it in there, and I see myself in the mirror, so, yeah. Daddy, ah. But yeah, any questions or comments, leave them below.